All right, guys, day two. Today is gonna be filling in all of these little cracks that we have in the fascia and in the stucco. We're gonna be using uh, different types of caulking, so we got our caulking guns out. When I'm doing any type of caulking, I like to wear gloves. Um, I have these gloves, they have like, they're like dipped, so they have like an orange coating on the bottom. Um, the reason I like these is to protect your finger. Again, there's all kinds of chemicals in this stuff. When I do caulking, I like to keep it like a smooth, like nice and smooth, and um, so what I do is I keep a sponge or a wet rag with me, and every time I have any kind of excess caulking or material on the glove, I just wipe it off. And then every time you put your finger down, make sure you have a clean finger every time you put your finger down. Two different types of caulking guns that I really like to use, and they're these here. This one's a little more pricey. Uh, this one's a lot easier to pull on. It's uh, it's like more, uh, what's the word, what's the word, ergonomic. <laughs> So anyways, but it's hard to get in tight spots. This rod like sticks out way far. And if you guys are interested in any of these tools, I'll leave links down in the description for you guys down below. This one here is a dripless. What it does is um, when you, you go, it kind of lets off and it doesn't drip. So, cause what happens if you use these cheaper ones, if you get ones like this that has this little trigger on the back, just know that every time you're done caulking, you're gonna have to hit that trigger and it really takes up a lot of extra time. And painting is all about time. You just want to save time and you want to get it done right. So. That's the job today. A lot of sanding and a lot of caulking in and a lot of putty and a little bit of demo. So, oh yeah, stick around and don't go anywhere. So day two, what I really like to focus on is getting all the prep work done. After we've washed it, we'll come through and all these little imperfections and stuff like this, I wanna go ahead and caulk in that area. It's a little bad. Typically you could do um, a stucco treatment, but you know, we offered him two options and he picked the option with it. We're just gonna use elastomeric caulking. And what it is, it's like a stretchy type of caulk. However, on some of these areas here, these styrofoam pop out, corbels, I guess you could call them. They're pretty damaged around here. The birds like to peck at them and pull the styrofoam out. So these things, we're gonna have to do a little bit of stucco patch. Now around the whole house, there is a bunch of areas like that. The peak of the house as well, there's always a seam of wood. I always like to caulk that and hammer in any kind of nails that you run into. We're gonna cruise around and I'm gonna show you kind of the stuff that we need to repair today. On day two, so we got big holes like this as well. There's a lot of cracks in the stucco. A lot of cracks here, I use a material that uh, fills the crack and it has a high build and a high fill. It's called multi-seal. These need to be removed. All the nails on the wall will be removed. A lot of this stuff, you don't have to caulk in this type of stuff. You really don't. However, it really does help as far as quality and aesthetics go. Um, the areas that you'll want to focus on priming to, to protect are areas like this, anywhere where rain can run off and get inside. So these are the areas that we really want to work on. Here, we're going to have to do some sanding. As you can tell, there's a little bit of mold and stuff. We'll go ahead and caulk that in too. This is the type of crack I was explaining to you earlier. That crack there is a crack that I could use on this material that I'm gonna show you guys. So everything today is gonna to get sanded down. We'll caulk in all of these cracks. If this was siding, you don't really wanna to do too much caulking on the siding because the siding needs to move. It needs to move and swell with the material. It needs to breathe. Let's get after it. All right, so after we got started, the homeowner asked us if we could tear down the shed, so we went ahead and charged him a little bit extra to remove that. Um, I had a couple helpers this day, so it really worked out. Also, if you guys are interested in how I estimate all of my jobs, I did create an ultimate estimating guide, and I'll leave a link down in the description below if you guys are interested in that. This stuff here, you're able to use in a crack like this. See, I can fit my whole knife in there. I'm not gonna be able to use the multi-seal. Multi-seal is a product that I could use for small hairline cracks. This is that product. And that will work, but this crack is a little big. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this stuff. Mortar and stucco repair, more flex. All right, let's go. So I don't use this stuff that often. Usually I'll use a sanded stucco repair. You mix it up in a bucket and apply it with a trowel. But these cracks weren't too bad and most of them are hairline cracks. So I decided to use this. We opted in for the cock and gun method and it turned out pretty nice, I think. Just trying to get it, make sure that it's inside of the crack. And then what we're gonna do is we mush it down in there with the sponge like that. Just want to make sure that it's nice and filled. It's hard to get the caulking in there, so you've really got to mush it. And mush it in there. And then you use the sponge to lightly kind of uh, feather it into the rest of the stucco. And now let me show you how it looks. All right, so we're gonna move out to the front. Um, I think it looks pretty good. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. I think it feathered out pretty good. And once we get a coat of paint on there, you won't really be able to tell. So now we're out front. 
And these little corbels here, man, these suckers were really tore up. And like I said, sometimes I'll use a sanded and apply it with the trowel. But we were going for the caulking gun method, and I'm really, I'm really satisfied with how it turned out. To be, to, to be quite honest with you, we did some cal caulking, did some caulking, and it nicer than it did. And this will make our paint job look better once it's all done. So we still have to do there, a couple little holes to fill. But we have several spots where we had to do some stucco patch. You know, we tried to make it blend as best as we can. Unfortunately, stucco patch is really hard to make match. And if you know the holes were there then you'll know the holes are there even after they're patched. We threw drops down and we have shields tucked all the way up against to the foundation. And anywhere it gets hairy, where the drops can't really get, you button it up with uh, paper tape. You guys got anything to say? Work hard, stay in school. Stay in school. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Work indoors in the summertime. All right guys, day three today is gonna be finish up the sanding that we started yesterday. And then also finish up some of the caulking out front. It's been a hundred, over 100 degrees the last couple days. So today we're gonna work on staying in the shade. We're gonna do our best to work in the shade. I got plenty of water to start the day off with. We got Eddie here helping us today, but we have all of our cracks filled, all of our stucco repair done. We sanded down, we went a little extra on the sanding in this back patio area because, well, this is kind of where they hang out. They have a pool area. So we wanted to make sure that everything was nicely sanded. Uh, we left off the caulking at the end of the day. We still have some more to do. We're gonna chase the shade for most of the day here, which means work in the front area. And then once the shade's gone, we're gonna hop back here and start doing some painting, guys. Ooh, it's already hot, guys. It's already hot. And it is Friday. So once we get that done, take a couple days off and we'll come back out front. Now, the reason I'm gonna start in the back is because I don't really want to leave half of the house painted over the weekend since I'm not gonna be here through the weekend. So if I know that that's gonna be the case, typically what I'll do is I'll start in the back. We'll get the back painted. That way we get the majority of it done and then come back over Monday and they don't have like a half painted house over the weekend because I don't know, that just bugs me. So day three, a little bit of painting, finishing up wrapping, or a little bit, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, let's go. All right guys, hey, thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Here's some clips from the next episode. Next episode, we will be painting. Uh, I don't know if I'll have all the painting in there, but we probably got about one, maybe two episodes. Thanks guys for sticking around, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.